My name is Catherine Ladani. I am the academic chair for the radiation therapy and MRI programs uh, at the Michener Institute for Education at UHN. Um, it's a really exciting and different time right now and very excited to uh, welcome you to come to learn a little bit more about our programs. Um, we have within my portfolio two radiation therapy programs, one with uh, joint with the University of Toronto as part of the uh, Medical Radiation Sciences joint program, and one uh, focused more on the needs of Northern Ontario, so that is joint with our Laurentian University partner. Our MRI program is a post-credential program um, for working technologists uh, and it runs part-time, um, completely online for the didactic component. It is going to be uh, four semesters starting uh, next fall for 2021, with three of those semesters being online and your clinical semester after that. Um, and a really great way for those that are already working in the medical radiation sciences who wish to be able to add and get that dual certification and MRI to do so while still working in their first discipline. I really want to thank you and encourage you to uh, attend the sessions um, in radiation therapy and MRI and looking forward to seeing you as potentially future colleagues. Take care. Hello, my name is Shahida Suleiman. Welcome to the Michener Institute. I am the Program Communication Liaison here at the Michener Institute for the MRI Program. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the MRI program that we offer. What is MRI? MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. And in the image here, you can see a typical MR scanner. MRI uses an extremely powerful magnet, for instance, 15,000 Gauss versus 100 Gauss in a typical fridge magnet in conjunction with radio frequency waves to produce valuable diagnostic images of any body part, as you can see here on the left. Unlike CAT scan and X-ray, MRI does not use ionizing radiation. Instead, MRI relies on the magnetic properties of hydrogen atoms commonly found in tissues like fat and water in our bodies to create images of the body. As demonstrated here, we can create images of any body part in different contrast types that the radiologists use to characterize pathologies as accurately as possible. So a little bit about the profession. MRI technologists use their communication, patient care, and collaborative skills to interact with patients and other members of the healthcare team. They're responsible for the safety of patients and other staff members in the MRI environment. Using their knowledge of anatomy, physiology, and pathology, along with the principles of MRI physics and methodology, MRI technologists operate MRI scanners to create images of the patient's body tissues, which physicians then use as an aid to diagnose patients. The skill of the MRI technologist is extremely important in obtaining high quality diagnostic images as demonstrated here. MRI technologists work under the guidance of radiologists. So a bit about the program here that we offer at the Michener Institute. The MRI program is a part-time program designed with the working medical radiation sciences professional in mind. Therefore, the MRT can maintain employment while taking our program. The program consists of both didactic and clinical components, which are spread across four semesters. We have an average class size of 25 to 30 students. Therefore, it is a small student to faculty ratio. The didactic courses are offered online over three part over three part time semesters, which, of course, is very convenient because you can participate in the classes from anywhere as long as you have a computer and Internet connection. And given the current climate that we live in, of course, this also has its advantages. 
The final semester is the clinical semester. It begins with a mandatory four-day clinical readiness component offered partly on site at Michener to ensure that students are fully prepared to start their full-time clinical practicum. Our graduates are eligible to write the National Certification Examination administered by the CMRT, which is the body that administers the certification exams. And as you can see here, this is all the information is on their website. Certification also qualifies our graduates to be eligible to work across Canada and allows them to apply for registration as an MRI technologist with the College of Medical Radiation and Imaging Technologists of Ontario, also known as the CMRITO. So therefore, if you want to work, with, to work within Ontario, you can apply for a license to work as an MRI technologist with the CMRITO once you have passed the national certification exam. Our program is also an accredited program. So what do you expect to learn from the program? You'll learn about patient care and safety in the MRI environment. You'll learn how to prepare and position patients for their MRI exams. You'll learn how to use sophisticated MRI scanners to perform complex cross-sectional imaging procedures. You'll learn how to apply knowledge of MRI physics and methodology, cross-sectional anatomy, and pathology to produce high-quality diagnostic MRI images. And you'll also learn about hybrid imaging and basic advanced techniques. So what career opportunities lie ahead of you after you graduate from our program? MRI technologists find rewarding careers in clinical environments such as hospitals, mobile MR units, and diagnostic imaging centers. Other career opportunities can be found in areas of education, sales, applications, and research. If you have any questions, I'd like to invite you to please join our Q&A session to ask any questions you may have. And I also want to thank you for your time. Thank you very much.